Costco has a knack for persuading customers to make impulse purchases, often leading them to spend more money than they originally intended. It is a multinational corporation based in America that runs a chain of members-only warehouse and club retail stores. Good afternoon. Costco is the third largest retailer in the world and offers a wide range of products, including choice beef, organic foods, chicken, and wine. However, due to the continuous increase in their prices, Costco's position as consumer's top choice may be at risk. Tonight in Money Smart, a trip to the Costco food court might cost you a little extra the next time you go. The retailer has raised prices on two items in its food court, the chicken bake and the 20-ounce soda. Recently, there has been a rapid increase in the prices of goods and products at Costco. Products that were sold for $32.99 on the first day were sold for $40.99 on the next day. This sudden price hike has made loyal customers suspicious as the company has not explained this change. Although the company did not completely ignore their customers' requests for an explanation, they failed to address their concerns adequately. As a result, customers are shopping more, but spending less. Globally, the average daily transaction fell by 4.2%, and it was down by 3.5% in the US. This decline mostly affected non-food discretionary items. During the second quarter monthly sales recordings, Costco discussed the numbers in detail and also provided a breakdown between digital and warehouse sales, the big ticket discretionary departments, such as home furnishings, small electrics, jewelry and hardware, saw a decrease of about 20% in e-commerce sales, which made up 55% of e-commerce sales. These same departments saw a decrease of about 17% in the warehouse, but only made up 8% of warehouse sales. Costco's code of ethics mandates that the company should always provide its members with quality goods and services at the lowest possible prices. To achieve this mission, Costco conducts its business while obeying the law and keeping the code of ethics in mind. Costco played the long game and focused on doing whatever was needed to keep its members happy for them At a Costco to keep renewing their memberships a model that worked spectacularly well. In terms of renewal rates, the figures were the same as the all-time high rates that were achieved in the second quarter. If well scrutinized, it can be seen that there is a loop somewhere that Costco is hiding, especially in terms of their goods and the company they patronize. A review made by the quality control check of Costco's products by the board and customers showed a trait in poor preservation of products sold at Costco. This could be attributed to the diverse factories and companies whom they patronize, selling and delivering expired or soon-to-expire products. Another attribute can be traced to poor customer care services rendered by Costco Customer Care. Yeah, if I leave my wallet out on the counter, it runs down to the basement with it. <laughs> Excuse you know, I got, me, uh, could one of you I got me, back late you... from that concert last night, and I was yeah. like, super hammered, so I was running late. <laughs> So. That is awesome. Yeah. yeah, so can I borrow the money Excuse or, me, or what? Could, could one of you tell me where I could find bird seed and gardening gloves? Uh, no, I'm sorry. There isn't really any business or company that will receive more patronage if there aren't good customer relations by the staff and rapid response to complaints from customers. Mind telling us what happened? I'm the customer for crying out loud. They treated me like I was an intruder. This is one area Costco is lacking. Good customer care services recently a lot of customers loyal to Costco have been filing a series of complaints about the delay in response to the calls made to the company in regards to low quality components and often unskilled assembly and neglect. Products such as blueberries, for instance. Some of these blueberries come in packages that are not well labeled with best before or date of production tags. This is tantamount to neglect, a serious offense that could lead to jail terms. Another product being sold at Costco with a relatively higher rate of complaints is the bicycle. Costco members complain that the bicycles are heavy, unpleasant, and not as easy to ride as a real bicycle, and it costs more than the conventional bicycle. However, if you are looking to spend under $1.200 or so on a bicycle, you're much better off buying a decent used bike. If your budget is over roughly that amount, go to a bicycle shop. The kind that just sells bicycles as parts and accessories, 
or at least to a sporting goods shop with a bicycle department with a dedicated service counter, and get help selecting a properly assembled bicycle that fits both your needs and your size. There have been numerous reviews and complaints about the high cost of commodities at Costco. We're gonna have a look at some of these items that I'm seeing up to close to 100% inflation on. Many believe that the company should reduce its prices, but Costco has not changed its pricing policy. It is important to understand that pricing is a zero-sum game, and such games are necessary to maintain pricing models. Ultimately, Every pricing strategy must result in a zero-sum game between the company's agents and its constituents, including customers, employees, and suppliers. The price inflation has affected several items, such as fuel, olive oil, chicken breast, fresh tuna fish, and other commodities. Fuel and olive oil have been hit the hardest. Just a quick one for the, for the viewers. Make sure you get a Costco's card. Premium diesel, as you can see, it's cheaper than diesel you get at Asda. Costco is a warehouse club that aims to keep prices low for its members. However, it follows in the footsteps of its competitors by charging more for fuel. While Costco warehouses have filling stations that allow members to fill up for less than what most filling stations charge, the company is not always looking to keep its margins thin on fuel the way it does with most items it sells. Instead, Costco seeks to keep its prices low relative to its competitors. Most of the time, Costco has the lowest priced fuel in an area. Regular customers who fill up there can easily offset the price of their membership just in fuel savings. Other fuel stations have also seen improved profitability in fuel in the last three to five years at Costco. They are also allowed to make a little more profit. Costco's strategy is to be a relative bargain when it comes to fuel rather than offering the lowest price possible. The company tries to match the price of its competitors, which is being done on a weekly basis at every fuel station that operates around neighboring competitive fuel stations. This approach creates a win-win situation for Costco, as the value proposition increases with an increased number of cents per gallon. More sticker shock tonight at both restaurants and at the supermarket checkout. Yeah, the price for olive oil is skyrocketing, and as Fox 5's Kendall Green shows us, it shot up more than 100% in just the last year. Some consumers have been struggling to purchase olive oil due to its increased prices. Several Costco shoppers have expressed their surprise over the retailer's current olive oil prices on Reddit. It just seems like it's all more expensive. Meat is also getting expensive. Uh, my friends, something is amiss with the Kirkland olive oil. Do you see that price? It's $24.99 for the best in class Italian olive oil. My photo from the end of December was $17.49. It's jumped 43% in less than a month. But why? Is it because of inflation or Bidenomics? One member shared a photo of a two count pack of three liter Kirkland Signature refined olive oil bottles, which were being sold for $50.99 in a warehouse. The member wondered why the product had become so expensive since it cost approximately half as much in 2021. The recent surge in olive oil prices at Costco can be attributed to several unfortunate weather-related incidents overseas in recent years. It's the second year running where, where there's been a, a, a harvest that's being adversely impacted by climate change. Grocery items are becoming increasingly more expensive in the retail industry. In 2022, a severe drought affected the olive crop in Spain, which is the world's largest olive oil producer. Bad weather has negatively impacted the harvest, resulting in limited olive oil supplies and significantly higher prices for the product in the United States, as reported by the New York Times. So even if you don't shop at Costco, you may have already encountered supply issues or elevated olive oil prices at your go-to grocery store. The price hike may be particularly surprising to Costco shoppers, since the retailer is known for offering bargain prices on bulk goods. In better news, Costco shoppers may see some relief on their grocery bills in other areas, even as olive oil prices remain high. Outgoing Costco CFO, Richard Galanti, who recently left his post, revealed during a recent earnings call that the retailer had lowered prices on several essential grocery items. The discounted products included batteries, reading glasses, beverages, and frozen fruit. That's it for today's video. What are your thoughts? 
let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the post notification by clicking the bell icon so you won't miss more of this video. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching.